Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the First Click Show here on First Clicks. That was awful. The first story today is actually really, really funny. We got an Apple designer actually designing a little Windows user interface uh, while on a lunch break, and uh, he called it Windows 11, right? Uh, which obviously is not going to be released since Windows 10 uh, was the last uh, iteration of Windows, right? Uh, but it is pretty funny. And uh, yeah, Microsoft pretty much ran with it. Y you can see that someone spent about 10 to 15 minutes on it. And it is really funny. We we had a good laugh and I feel like people at Microsoft had a good laugh. What? It's real? It's... Uh, I mean, I mean f f for 15 minutes, it's... Uh, it doesn't look... Uh, it doesn't... Let, let's just do the next story. Yeah, front page tech actually coming in with a report on Microsoft actually inviting Apple to put iMessage on Windows 11. I mean, that is an even better joke than Windows 11 ever will be. In an exclusive video interview with Wall Street Journal, CEO of Microsoft Sa Satya? Satya Nadella. Sat Satya. The CEO of Microsoft invited Apple to bring iMessage to Windows after being asked about Windows playing better with iPhones. Nadella replied, we would love to make sure that it works better. We do everything we can. Like anything Apple wants to do with Windows, whether it's iTunes, iMessage or whatever, we welcome that. But overall, we want to make sure that our software runs great on Apple devices. I mean, Sacha, don't worry, we got parallels and it's running really, really great. I mean, it's even running better than uh, Windows DOS on uh, your own ARM devices. So uh, we're good. We're Gucci. And then we got another report coming in about Microsoft. Yes, they changed a bunch of things about their app store and everyone is talking about it. And, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I don't give a flying about it. So we're not going to run the story. I don't care. For real though, I more did a really great report on it. And if you want to read about it, the link is in the description down below. Speaking of iMore, we actually got a report on SharePlay. Yes, it is enabled in iOS 15 developers beta 2. Earlier today, Apple announced the latest developer betas of iOS 15, iPadOS 15, tvOS 15, and watchOS 8. One of the most notable features that was added with the latest iOS 15 and iPadOS developer betas is SharePlay. Testers have confirmed that the second developer's beta of iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 include SharePlay. Now, obviously most of us already know what SharePlay is, but it is definitely cool that we are finally able to test it and we will do that, especially in this weekend on the airdrop. So definitely stay tuned to the channel and subscribe because you do not want to miss out on this one. And then 9to5Mac is actually reporting that on WatchOS 8 Developers Beta 2, the new flagship feature Portraits is finally available. So you can finally zoom in with your little crown on the picture that you want to zoom into. Apple today released WatchOS 8 Beta 2. With this new version, one of the features previewed during the WWDC 2021 keynote is finally available. The new Portraits watch face. See your favorite portrait photo as a watch face. The portraits are cropped to focus on the people in them, fit the display and integrate the time. You can choose from three different type styles and select up to 24 photos. A new picture appears each time you raise your wrist or tap the display. So obviously if you have some pictures of your loved ones or if you just like self portraits on your watch, then uh, well, this is your lucky day, especially if you have a developer's account. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure if you should uh, actually install the beta just for this feature, but hey, it's your watch and it's whatever you want to do with it, right? It's just your happy place. I will respect your decision and uh, I hope your watch will too. <laughs> Anyways, a link to this 9to5Mac article will be in the description down below. And then in other news, the iPad Pro is finally a little bit more pro. Or is it? I don't know. It depends. Anyways, with iPadOS 15, developers beta 2, Mac Rumors is now reporting on a limit that has now finally been lifted. 
Latest iOS and iPadOS 15 betas allow apps to request access to more RAM. I mean, I'm not gonna lie with you, having 16 gigabytes of RAM in an iPad Pro and only be able to use five gigabytes per app on it. Oh, baby, 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 that was hurting so, so hard. In the second betas of iOS and iPadOS 15, released to developers yesterday, Apple introduced a new entitlement that developers may request that will expose their apps to more memory. Apple says that this entitlement will inform the system that an app may perform better by exceeding the default app memory limit. Apple's developer documentation doesn't specify how much extra RAM an app may be exposed to and also says this is limited to supported devices. Now obviously this is very careful language and we know that Apple uses careful language even though sometimes it doesn't really matter to us, the end user. I mean supported devices could just mean any device that has enough RAM to exceed that limit, right? I mean, an iPhone SE, for example, uh, I don't know if you want to exceed that limit on an iPhone SE. You can try, uh, but there is not enough RAM. Maybe you can download more RAM from the internet. But I have heard from sources that that is impossible because it's hardware. But as you might know, like every story we ran today and beyond, if there are any updates to this story, you will see it here on First Clicks. So definitely subscribe, leave a like, leave a little comment and if you want to read about any of these articles we handle here today definitely go to the description down below because they will all be standing there waiting for you to read at your own tempo and in full context for now i hope you guys click on